Okay, continue to fill questions here for USMLE. Student asks, Mike, should I, should I be doing UWorld twice? Okay, this is a very popular question, okay? Like, very famous question. Students frequently do UWorld twice, maybe even three times, okay? So I'm going to give a very important answer to this. It's not going to be the answer most students expect, and I believe many students will actually dislike this video simply because of my view on this. But I come from a place of good intent, and I need to give you value here. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel. Share with one of your friends. Prepping for USMLE. Help bring awareness to this channel. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram. Melman underscore medical. M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. And find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. The links are down below. Now let me address the fucking question, which is about, should I be doing UWorld twice? And I said that uh, students... Obviously, students do uh, UWorld twice, even three times occasionally, and this is a process that students frequently engage in that has become highly perpetuated and ingrained in people's routine over the years, okay? As I've talked about in my other clips, it's to my observation as a tutor that students tend to get very emotional over their use of UWorld, Okay. My view is that no, you should not do UWorld twice. That immediately generates blowback because students say, whoa, 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 what do you mean don't do UWorld twice, okay? People get very uh, heated about this notion that really, like, I shouldn't do UWorld twice? Correct, you should not do UWorld twice. UWorld number one has become highly superfluous. It's up around 3,800 questions. That in and of itself is a reason you should only do it once. Number two you need to be focusing on the NBME exams prior to your USMLE. I've made lots of content on this. I've talked about how before your step one, you need to memorize NBMEs 20 through 30. You need to go through your incorrect, screenshot them into a Word document, save as a PDF or PowerPoint. You're going to be reviewing those assiduously up until your exam. We can even potentially consider forms 19 and earlier. You will have a lot of NBME content to go through. Okay, and if you're studying for step two, all of the clinical mastery series forms in addition to NBME six through 11. I've talked about numerous times in my other clips how the real USMLE is going to be the same thing as the NBME. Okay, the questions are exactly the same. The USMLE is not UWorld. Okay, now the notion of doing UWorld twice, if you are very, very fucking far out from your exam, let's say uh, your school has you start UWorld in first year. They give you a subscription to it. You use it alongside classes. There could be a potential time and place for going through extra an extra pass of UWorld. We could potentially entertain that, but in general, it's not something I ever recommend. Okay, it's I'm I'm usually a very strong no on this. And once again, I. I have the awareness that this contrasts significantly with the highly perpetuated, uh, ingrained study plan that many students, or I should say most students, blindly follow as far as, OMG, I have to do UWorld twice or three times. Bad fucking idea, and it's terrible advice, okay? And especially, it's made more complicated by students who score well, okay? You'll know students, you'll know someone who got, let's say, a 263 who did UWorld twice and memorized FA, and you say, well, that student did well, and, and my response is, that's, that's excellent. I mean, like, literally, that student did very well. However, if he or she had actually done UWorld once and then memorized all of the NBME content, he or she probably had a peak potential of 272 or 273 rather than that 263 he or she actually got, okay? There's alternative realities, which we're never gonna know, but it's my conviction. And I come, I come from a place of good intent that for you, in order to augment your score as much as possible going into the real deal, you want to do a single pass of UWorld, do the pass well, okay? No more than 40 to 80 questions per day. And you're going to be memorizing the NBME content, okay? A matter of whether you look at the, uh, the UWorld incorrects, that's never cookie cutter for uh, each student, okay? And as I said, there can also be the incorporation of USMLERX, we can consider maybe AMBOSS for some students, okay? There's a lot to discuss, but I'm not going to make this a 49-minute clip, okay? So if you have more questions, drop comments below. I'll continue to make more content. You know the deal. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel.
and I appreciate your time. That's it.